All right, we just got patch 14.5.5 for Tarkov. And as the usual, this video isn't gonna be just a read the patch notes to you like it's you're some kind of four year old who can't read. We're gonna go through them. We're gonna talk about what they mean, what they change more specifically, and any kind of hangups with it. Now the big one here everybody's worried about is crab walking or silent crouching or sneaking or whatever you wanna call it. And while the answer to this is pretty cut and dry, there's a ton of nuance here and I wanna get into the deeper details so we'll do that a bit at the last part of the video because I wanna go over the simpler things and get all that out of the way and get it done. If you don't wanna hear that stuff, it's fine, I get it. I'll throw chapters in there so you can skip right to the part you prefer. But because I'm doing you that favor, how about you do me a favor and give me a like on the video, maybe a comment down below. Helps me out and uh, since you're skipping the video anyways, or maybe you are, uh, that kind of hurts me in the algorithm and a like kind of pays for that and helps out. But first up, we'll talk just patch notes here. So they didn't put them out on the forum like they usually do. This is a tweet patch notes, which I don't like these, but it is what it is. Um, first up is the optimize the algorithm of AI spawns at the start of raids. This change seems to have made it to where the packet loss bug for bosses where, you know, if a boss spawned, you didn't get packet loss and you knew the boss was on the map. This seems to be uh, set to fixing that. I haven't seen it myself. Everybody I've talked to um, seems to agree that this fixed it and patched it, but it might not have. I don't want to say it's a rock solid thing till we get a couple of days in and people are 100% sure it had. But I think this that's what this was addressing. Along with that, it seems it may have done a little bit more. Um, I've been hearing tons of folks tell me that they feel like AI scavs are acting way different, mostly centered around them just being more aggressive or how fast they aggro and stuff like that. But this could just be typical rumor mill mumbo jumbo. Again, this will take a couple of days to figure it out. But just keep that in mind that that might be going on. Now, the next one uh, is a really interesting one to me anyways. Uh, BSG added new weapon switching sounds uh, dependent on its type and length. I tested this with a bit of different, a couple of different weapons, different, all different lengths, stuff like that. The most noticeable is the distinctly different sound that you pull out a, a melee weapon now. Sounds like you're pulling something out of a sheath. So that's there. Not a huge impact on the game though. Um, I do wonder if Tagilla makes this sound when he pulls his hammer out. I haven't checked that out. So if you know that, or if you hear it, let me know. It'd be funny if he makes like a sword sheath sound when he pulls out his sledgehammer. Now, weapon length does have an impact on sound, at least to a certain degree. It's really hard to flesh this stuff out because there's a couple of different things. But there was about a seven decibel difference between an eight slot shotgun that I brought in and a two slot pistol. But when it came to the difference between that aim, that same eight slot shotgun and let's say a seven slot AXMC, the difference in the volume was imperceptible. And to add even more ambiguity to this, the PKP was louder than the shotgun, but it's only six slots. So it's shorter, but more loud. So to me, this looks like two factors come into play here on top of Ergo, which was used to be the primary for weapon noise. One is weapon length, but I believe that weapon type is far more impactful as that being the second one. So sure, shorter weapons are quieter, but the type is going to have, it seems a bigger impact. Now, an interesting note with this, the louder weapon noise is when you're putting it away. So I'm not sure if this is intended or if this is a bug. I have no idea. It seems counterintuitive to me, but I, I, I don't know. When you go to switch from, let's say, your shotgun to your pistol, that is where it plays the louder sound. Then when you go from your pistol to your shotgun, that is the quieter sound. So it's like putting the weapon away makes less noise, but I don't know what benefit that is because you'd want to make less noise like pulling out a pistol or something, I would think, but... It might be intended. I don't know. That's just what's going on. So want to let you guys know. Now, the third change here is massive, huge quality of life thing. The change to basically Tarkov's system that's existed since I started playing. And that is a balancing adjustment to the trader limit system. So what this boils down to is when you go to your trader and we all know this, you go to go to therapist and, you know, she reset a little while ago, but cases would be sold out. That is no longer the case. There are tons of cases. Now you do have your individual limits. You can only do one thick case per barter or whatever. That's it, there's individual limits. But even proper, for example, right? Usually this ammo, he'd have ammo that'd be sold out. Like here's seven and 40, I can buy it. You know, uh, PS12B, I think, um, I can't remember some of the other ones that sold out, probably like DT or something. Uh, but like on Peacekeeper, right? M62 would sell out all the time. It's still there. And then, you know, the other crazy barters, I'm trying to think like Jaeger's Nerf gun, um, sometimes the uh, the other thermal barters, things like that. Uh, what, where was the Night Force scope? Um, it's still uh, available. It doesn't sell out. Um, so that's gone. No more camping traders. No more sitting around for them to reset. When you log in, you can buy what you want. 
and then you can go play the game. You don't have to screw around and wait for a trader reset for 20 minutes or anymore. Uh, this is a mechanic that I am super happy to see go. It's gonna be the end of an era, but a good end. Now, next up, they, uh, they added an achievement for players who completed the quest chain in the spring event. So this was the Morana event. Um, I'll show you right here. That's Maslentia, Mas, Maslentia, and whatever. I ain't gonna say that right, so I'm not even gonna try anymore. Um, I got it complete because I completed all the tasks. Uh, I think Velian said he thought he completed the tasks, but he didn't get it, but I'm not sure. Um, if I think basically if you completed the task, you got it. If you didn't, you didn't. The shitty part is, is that you can't get this. The quests aren't there anymore. So it's one of those kind of proactive, retroactive, give you a task that you, or an achievement that you didn't know was there, which I know is kind of going to suck for people that are completionists because had they known this, they probably would have done it. Um, but it is what it is. So this achievement is here. Um, but you can't get it anymore. Um, you only got it if you completed the event. Next up is they added new PMC outfits available both for purchase on the website and as a reward for completing the new quests. Okay, so we'll go here and look at them. They're right here. Uh, it looks like they're $7 and $12 respectively. These are the two new outfits if you wanna buy them, but they cost USD, but there's a tasks. There are tasks now to get them. Um, you don't have to pay for them. Uh, let me get in here to tasks first and look at them. So you got drip out part one and drip out part two. These are pretty hefty. Uh, so drip out part one is going to be um, killing 100 raiders and then turning any Wartech brand equipment in. Now, what is Wartech equipment? There's quite a bit. Um, it's mostly these little vests that they wear. It's TV 110s, uh, the TV 109s, the MK3 rigs, and then the Berkut backpacks, backpacks, which they have to be found in raid. Uh, and then you can turn them in and you can get a lot of these off scabs, not that so much, um, but you'll get TV 109s and MK3s off scabs all the time, as well as the Berku backpacks. Uh, with that then as the other one, which is drip out part two, um, that gives you hundred, you have to do hundred rogues and then LBT brand equipment, which is the LBT rigs, slicks, and you've got the goons edition. You've got the load bearing chest, the black day packs, these thingy majigs, which you'll get those off the scavs, <clears throat> and then the medical bag, which you get off the Sandy's guys. And I think, I think maybe some of the other, some other places it shows up. I don't remember exactly. Whatever. Uh, those are all found in raid. Turn in for that task. And then once you get them, you can come in here and you'll see them. Uh, here's Usec Ranger Green, level 24. Trade a little to level two, 600,000 rubles. And here's the corresponding pants. Imagine this is the $7 one. Yeah, that's the $7 one. And then the $12 one is level 33, 1.1 mil, um, and then uh, 33 and 700,000. And they're pretty cool looking. Um, I know a lot of people aren't gonna like them. I, I think they're cool, um, but to each their own, we'll see what people end up getting and uh, using. After that, we have their quoted list of fixes, right? So they fixed the overlapping sound when breaking fluorescent lamps. Now, I didn't know this, I never really, dawned on me and, or noticed as a problem. I just thought it was Tarkov audio, but the fix does change how they sound. Here, here's an example. Now that's better in my mind, up to you, I guess. Uh, small change, but it's there. Now, um, number seven, tons of volumes uh, audio volumes were changed. Container searching, equipment, weapon switching, and the big one, crouch movement. And we played around with all sorts of this different audio and tested it. And it's kind of all over the place when it comes to like looting, for example, right? Some of it's quieter. Some of it sounds like it's noisier, both to you and the client and to everybody around you, client side and server side. And then some didn't sound any different at all. So it's gonna be up to you. There is a couple of bugs here that um, I think like looting PCs makes a weird, there's certain things making the wrong audio noises. BSG's aware of it. They're probably gonna fix it, but I don't know when. So when you, like, I think it's a PC that sounds different or something else. When you go to open it up and it sounds weird, that's what's going on. Now, weapon switching, like we already talked about a lot of that uh, already, but there is a different audio change there with some of the stuff. So just keep that in mind. Um, so, we'll talk about distances here, but people are gonna hear you from ways away. With this, I swear there is a new weapon jiggle sound when you're like running, like you can hear the weapon jiggle. Um, and But maybe I just never noticed it and I'm just being hypersensitive to it. Here, you listen to it. Here's me running around with a scab with a shotgun. See if you hear that, that, that subtle jiggle kind of every like third or fourth step. Oh, 
Okay, now the next bit goes back and forth a ton from wipe to wipe. So I'm not sure exactly what changed, what didn't, but I wanted to throw this in there because we checked it. That way folks know what's happening right now, regardless if it changed or not. So when you change a scope zoom, there is an audible click, right? Most people know that. Same with a laser or flashlight when you turn it off or you cycle it. But on top of this, adjusting the zero on your scope also makes an audio clicking sound. So keep all these in mind. You're not quiet if you're doing these actions, people are gonna hear them. Now we'll get to the, the crouching thing in a sec, but first they fixed the, no the, the noise and the ambient sounds on woods. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this is. I think I'm hoping that this is like some of the wood creaking or things that sounded like steps that weren't steps and they were loud. Sometimes it's loud as footsteps. Uh, I haven't played enough woods yet to really know or tell. Um, so if you have, let me know what your initial thoughts are down in the comments. Um, it's gonna take me a couple of days of playing woods to really feel this out and see if they changed it then the ambient noise was tuned to a better level. And then the final fix, um, they fixed the display of the sorting table button for different uh, aspect ratios. My guess is if you didn't know the sorting table button got moved, people have been looking for it, didn't know they moved it up here. It was down below. Now it's up here. Um, I'm guessing on different aspect ratios, this button kind of got hidden or something weird happened with it. I don't know. I didn't see anybody talk about that, but if that was affecting you, great, it's been fixed. Okay, so now to the big section, crouch walking audio. It is audible now. Just gonna get that right out of the way. It's not just a little bit. You can hear it very easily. There are a ton of variables that go into this. So let's get a few things clear first so everybody's kind of on the same page and they understand what's going on. Now, the big one is audio varies greatly from player to player. And this is simply because we have settings. Our audio settings are set different. And this is going to greatly change what we all hear. So for example, right, if I go look at my PC, my PC is set to 67% of audio. But then I go into my game audio and my game audio is set to 90% for overall volume, right? And then beyond that, I have, I'll show you here, my mixer here, I have that, it's dialed down now because I was playing a different game, but that's dialed down normally to 88% when I'm playing. So, and that's not it. That's not everything that changes it. We also hear audio, at least distance, assuming it's working properly, a little bit dis different based on our perception strength. You know, perception right here, it tells me my hearing distance is increased by 10%. And that's from the base game. Now you mix in things like ambient noise on different maps, positioning, uh, you know, your your IRL headset quality, what headsets you're kind of wearing in game. All of these are gonna lead to us basically having potentially different results. Some of them we control for, some of them we can't. Now, Hayes and that friendly guy did some, already did some testing. So let me bring up what Hayes put in here because I liked it and it saved me some time. I didn't have to do it either. And there's differences between our testing. I cross-checked some of this stuff. Um, I didn't go to the detail of the different headsets he did. I did different detail, but I know people are gonna ask about it. Um, for example, Hayes closest, he could hear someone crouch walking at minimum speed under weight with Comtac 4s, boy, that's a lot, was 35 meters. Now the closest I heard was 34 meters, while the friendly guy reported hearing people at 43 meters. So 35, 34, 43. So that means you probably will hear something different than us. Maybe some the same, maybe somewhere in between. Uh, it just shows you there's gonna be variability out there. Now, again, I'm gonna do my best to get ahead of every question on here I can think of, but if you do have one, throw them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer what I can. If there's something I missed or there's something you wanna know about that I didn't cover. First off, we'll talk about which headset is best. This comes from Hayes' testing because that's what he focused on. Um, but I know it's going to come in here, so I want to get it out there. Uh, he's got him in order here. Comtax, RACs, XLs, Tax Sports, Swordens, Razors, M32s, GSSHs, and Comtax 2s. And yes, there's a 10 meter difference between Comtax 2s and Comtax 4s, the bottom and top. Now to add to this list, I tested without headsets, and that is 21 meters. So even without headsets on, you can still hear someone sneaking around 21 meters away from you. That is a substantial distance. That's not a short distance. Now there is a difference between crouch minimum speed and max speed. Max speed crouch walking was 43 meters. Um, so like if you're you're crouched, but you're all the way full speed, you can hear them at 43 meters. This is with Comtac 4s. And this didn't seem to change between, um, at least for me, green and yellow uh, weight sign. So if you look at your character screen down here where it says 27.2, the difference between, you know, how it's yellow now, that and green. That didn't seem to make a difference, at least right at the lower end. But red overweight is audible at out to 42 meters. So there is a difference. And I didn't, we didn't do a ton of testing to really dial it in, but there is a difference um, in how heavy you are. It's not like 
green, yellow, red have these three different audio things. There is a gradient between as your weight increases, how far away you can hear somebody. Now on the low end between naked and yellow, there was it was it was maybe a meter or two. It wasn't major. But the difference between um, what you see, like the like I was saying for compact fours, right? When you're yellow crouching versus red crouching was 34 meters versus 42 meters. There is pretty much everything in the middle of that based on weight. So the heavier you are in yellow, the further they're gonna hear you away. So what I said before about there not being a difference between green and yellow isn't really right. It, I meant that as right as the transition between green and yellow. You're not suddenly louder because you are overweight. And that was the case a long time ago. So some people might have that in their mind. That's why I wanna be clear there. It is a gradient that the heavier it get, the louder you are. Now, the crazy thing is walking and running is pretty much essentially the same. Um, I'm over here looking at my goofy spreadsheet. Uh, green walking, like if you're green weight and you're just walking around, I can hear guys at 78 meters, again with contact fours. Sprinting was only 79 meters. It was only a meter further. And that could just be some error in the damn, uh, the range finder or how we were looking at it. Cause it's kind of hard to tell exactly where somebody's at when they're running around or where the audio kicks in and out, especially at that distance. But it did seem a little bit further away, but it's not much, it's essentially the same. So pushing 80 meters, you're gonna hear somebody walking around at full speed. And this to me is just absolutely insane. Um, and I, I know this hasn't really changed. I know this has been the case for a while, but this is the first time I've really got in and tested it and looked at it and seen it with my own eyes, where the, how far away you can hear people really clearly. And it's just, it's just, it's absurd to me. Everybody talking about the, you move, you die, the rat meta, everything. You wanna blame something? This is what you blame right here. Now, along with the audio pop, of course, all of this maximum distance hearing stuff, hearing people 10 miles away, is exactly why it feels like everybody's ratting. It's not because everybody's ratting, it's because they can hear you from damn near 100 meters away. And what is the first thing we all do when we hear another player? We stop moving, not just because we don't want them to hear us, but so you can hear better because we make a lot of noise when we move anyways and it muffles the other sound. So you stop moving, everybody does it. And if you say you don't stop moving when you hear audio, you're lying or you're standing out in the open, right? Obviously, I'm not talking about that. But it, 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 it's just one of those things in the mechanics in the game and how it works. And the biggest part of this, I believe, is this distance. But that's enough soapbox for me. Now, as far as other audio cues, headset type didn't matter, um, seemed to matter. With things like pulling out grenades, it was right around 28 meters that you could hear. And that didn't change with any of the different headsets that I was listening with. And then ADS was audible all the way out to 35 meters. Now, this is partially because of the new sound that they added. There's a new sound when you ADS. And here, I'll just play it so you can hear it. And that's really what I was hearing at the further distance. Uh, and that's what I was keying off of. So that's there. So 35 meters is what you're going to hear people with headsets. So to kind of summarize this, Let's uh, let's talk here. Simply put, um, for most purposes, you're going to hear people crouch walking at somewhere between, we'll say, 28 meters and 40 meters. You're going to hear somebody crouch walking. Period. It doesn't matter what they're doing. And then running, it's going to be between like 60 and 80 meters uh, or walking. Walking and running, you're going to hear people at 60 to 80 meters. That's when their sound's going to first come in. So that's kind of a long and short summary of that whole thing. So that's it. That's the new game. Um, personal take on this, I don't know yet. I think that where we're at right now with these changes is better than completely silent crab walking. But I don't think it's a good place. So both of those can be true, right? I can think we're better than completely silent crab, uh, crab walking, but not think that this is where we should be. So keep that in mind. And if you disagree with me, I'm not going to argue with you and tell you you're wrong. What is going to dictate whether you like this change completely depends on how you like playing Tarkov. I'm a streamer. I play a lot. I like things happening on stream. I like action. I like fighting players. For me, this is going to make it more likely it's going to happen because people aren't going to be able to sneak away from me. They're not going to be able to just sit still or kind of creep. I say not sit still, but creep around in a building and me not know where they're there. But if you're somebody who only plays, let's say you're somebody who plays like four or five hours on a weekend at most, right? you just want to get in and do tasks and you want to avoid players this is going to suck because you're not going to be able to avoid people you are going to have to fight or stay perfectly still which is almost never a good idea because you can't position for a better angle you can't get behind cover you're usually just stuck somewhere so that's my opinion on it that's where i think about it and if you disagree with me that's awesome i don't 
disparage you for that, uh, you're free to do that. And my opinion might change. This is a day into the patch. Let me play it for a week or two and really get a feel for how this changes, how the game plays. Because that's, that's what it's gonna take. Anybody telling you they can tell what's going on right now is full of shit. Nobody knows how this is gonna change the player base. Nobody knows what everybody's gonna do yet. It's all assumptions. And it's gonna take days if not weeks to really feel this out and see where we're at so i'm looking forward to that to see what this changes for me what i would want i think ideally is one just overall sound audio make it much less i don't know if you want to cut it in half maybe that's too extreme but hearing somebody running at 80 meters or 90 meters is just dumb and then hearing somebody sneak at 40 or 30 or whatever it might be it just doesn't make sense dial that back down to like maybe 10 or 15 i don't know Let's test it. Let's figure out where it works. Let this run for a couple of weeks, feel it out, see what it is, and then hopefully we can get BSG to tune it from there. But that will remain to be seen. But we'll wrap it up there, I think. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to go check out my music down below. It's mine. It's really, it's not really a sponsorship. I just like giving it a shout out. Uh, it's free to listen to, but it still supports us. We do, you know, add revenue through Spotify and stuff like that. But it's also free for content creators to use. You can use it in your YouTube videos or your streams. You don't have to worry about DMC cop, cop or DMC takedowns or copyright strikes. It's not what we're about. We created this for the community. All we ask is you attribute us and that's all that, that needs. That way people know where to find it if they like the music. We got a new album. It's really good. It seems to be everybody's favorite. So make sure you go check that out down the link below. But that's it. That's all I'll yap about. Again, appreciate you guys watching. I wish you the best of luck in your raids and we'll see you in Tarkov.